coming up. Gilbert Melendez, the feed off, which is perfect. 11 0, Mark on the line against the champ, Clay Guida. It is the lightweight championship bout coming up. Stay with us, Strike Force Revenge. I expect a fight, you know, I expect someone uh, to come out there and bang with me and um, make it a war. So I'm ready for a war, I hope he is. You know, you know I don't know who's going to win. I plan on winning, I'll tell you that, but I don't think it's going to go all five rounds. It's going to be an intense scrap. So. If you look at most of my fights, I, I'm just learning. I'm still a youngster in the game. I've been fighting almost two years, and uh, I got a lot of work, you know, in every aspect of my game. I mean, my ground and pound, you know, my cardio is my number one thing. And, like I said in the interview I did a couple nights ago, everyone's got cardio in them. It's just a matter of how far down you dig, you know, to get ready for five fights or five round um, championship fights. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of holes in my game I'd like to improve on. Gilbert's top notch in the world, ranked you know one or two at 145 in Shudo, Japan, you name it. Um, he's on. He's got a lot of good things coming up in the loop. I expect him to come, you know, come at me just like I came at Josh, and I would expect nothing less from me, you know. He's gonna be, it's gonna be a dog fight, and uh, I think, I know at the end I'm gonna come out with the belt again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for a lightweight championship attraction. Now entering uh, to the blue corner, the challenger, Gilbert Melendez. Now joining us to the cage, to the red corner, the defending champion from Johnsburg, Illinois, Clay the Carpenter Guida. Chip bout five five minute rounds. Melendez, two and a half inches taller than the champion. But Gilbert is yet to lose in his 11 professional bouts. The San Francisco native taking on Rita, who revealed his tenacity the last time he was in this arena, outlasting Josh the Punk Thompson superior in the ground and pound in a five-round war. He gutted out an impressive victory over the very experienced Josh Thompson. And they must not like him here at Strike Force because they gave him another battle tonight with Gilbert Melendez. Back to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the Strike Force Lightweight Championship scheduled five five-minute rounds of action and brought to you by West Coast Productions in association with Silicon Valley Sports and Entertainment. Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five feet, nine and a half inches. He weighed in at a ready 154 pounds. Specializing in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, he is undefeated in his campaign in the cage with 11 wins, no losses, representing Jake Shields' fight team and hailing from San Francisco, California, introducing the undefeated challenger, Gilbert Melendez. And his opponent across the cage is the defending champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, Standing five feet seven inches, he weighed in at 155 pounds. An all-around MMA fighter specializing in the tradition of wrestling. His record stands at 18 wins and two losses. Fighting out of Gilbert Grappling and Hell House, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the defending Strike Force lightweight champion from Johnsburg, Illinois, introducing Clay the Carpenter. Guida! 
<laughs> and our referee in charge, Cecil Peoples, now to give instructions once again. Championship bout, five five-minute rounds scheduled. All right, guys, title on the line here. I want a good, clean fight. Remember, no elbows on the, on the ground. Any questions? Any questions? Let's dance. Cecil Peoples, the referee. Phil, what are the keys? Uh, the, the keys are simple for this one. Whoever gets on top is going to have the big advantage. Melendez, you got to keep the fight standing or get the takedown. And the Guida, same thing, he's got to get the takedown. Guida doesn't want to stand with Melendez. He, he, he's going to want to be on top. He's had a gas tank and cardio for days. He's going to look to wear down Melendez. But Melendez is, is super tough. I've been following this kid's career for a long time. He's seen him be pawling in his only his third fight in Hawaii. He's seen him win some big fights in Japan. I mean, this is an unbelievable, unbelievable evenly matched fight. I think it's going to be if Melendez can keep it on his feet or Guida can get on top. Thank you, Phil. A long stare down by the pair of combatants as they get it on. Guida told us he's worked on his stamina running four to six miles a day to prepare for what could be five five-minute rounds. Great wrestling here. Guida all the way on that single. Melinda stopping him by lacing that hand inside and bending that leg down. And effectively done for the man from San Francisco who was an outstanding wrestler at San Francisco State that met Jake Shields, brought him into our sport. Threw a little switch there. Gilbert with the leg. He can pull those hips up. He's got him under the butt. Here we go. And down they go. Melinda's down. Emphatically in round one. We'll see here what Clay's got from the bottom. If he's got a ground game, we didn't see a whole lot of that with Thompson. He was on top most of the time. Uh, we know that Melendez can shine in grappling. He has fluctuated in weight, bulking up to get to 155 for this fight. He's had success around the world, specifically in Japan, and he's showing off the full range of abilities at the outset. Well, dangerous here that he's turning his back this early. I don't know if he has the confidence or experience for that yet. Melendez got that arm trap. Got him between the legs. This classic wrestling stops all the forward motion. Looks like a war of wrestling holds here. We did work in that single. He's still on that single. As it locked up, as they work their way towards the cage. And Melendez can stop that lift by keeping that right arm inside. Oh, but he got him anyways. Able to get him down to the ground. Turning his back. Ooh. Nifty reversal. Yeah, Guida's paying for it. Tough position for Guida, but he rolls out of it. Left hands connected by Melendez. Guida's holding on to that single leg. He's real. I mean, that's his game, wrestling, but he's got to give it up and try to get those hips out. Melendez pounding away on the midsection. He's been in total control. Popping it up, took outset. a big knee there. Big knee to the torso, and followed by a left hand. Another one, crisply delivered. Gilbert's ability to blend the wrestling and striking is very clean and effective. Very Pop. impressive at 23 years of age. Guida, 24 years old. He is working on that single. Gilbert, able to get it back and counter with the right hand. So Gilbert's got to reach those punches out and then force Clay to shoot. He's got to force him to make a mistake by shooting. Oh, big uppercut lands. Oh, nice. We Countering back the knee. With the knee. Oh, and he took a shot there. But he pays the price. Trying to shoot his way in. Good single leg. Good single leg. He's got to stay on it. Gilbert pops right back up. Great hips. Tremendous now he's got a agility. bit of a front choke on him. And he popped out. Slid out of that. So difficult to lock up either fighter. 145 to go in the opening round. I think this is Guida's only weakness is I don't think he has that many finishing skills from the bottom. Or from the top for that matter. A powerful combination by Melendez. There he is freeing his arms up. Melendez got great position for punching. This is where ground and pound wants to be. Guida's definitely feeling it here. Head on the fence. He's kicked him away. Oh! oh! Narrowly a avoided major that. major collision, but it could have been worse, as you said. Guida has fantastic conditioning, but when you talk about being in a losing position or being in a, uh, a working position, it takes that energy so fast. 
double unders there by Guida. Tried to throw that knee. He's got to get this back into a wrestling game, into a speed wrestling game, a fast match. Melendez has dictated the terms. 45 seconds remaining in round one. He's working on that guillotine. Locks up the legs. Melendez still sneaks in a few punches. Melendez has been very active, not only on, on trying to advance that position, but also with his hands. And I think that's going to be one of the contributing factors to, you know, beating Clay down if that's got to happen tonight. A few right hands from Guida. Mm, staying busy in there. Ten seconds left in the opening round. Scramble to match. go five, and they're back on their feet. Let's see who goes for it. Nice. See, so Peoples steps in, and that's it for round one that seemed to be controlled by Gilbert Melendez. Yeah, Gilbert seemed to have better positioning, better distance timing, and to be in better control of that one. All right, here's Gilbert with that nice takedown. He had him under the butt. You see him drop those hips. Got him all the way. Here's Guido's retaliation to that, which was to scoop his own hips and drive him down. Advanced position nicely, took his back, couldn't capitalize. Slipped right off. Here's a beautiful uppercut. Oh, by Melinda's lifting the head of Guida up, making him step back, reevaluate what's going on. Oh, here's Melinda's just teeing off on him. He grabbed those feet, he's gonna try to throw him out of the way and clock him, and he hit him right there. Now, Melendez told us that he uses his jiu-jitsu background to get in position to strike, not to submit. Let's hear from Phil. How'd you see it? That was Melendez's round. Frank, you know what they say? You can't wrestle someone to death, but wrestling you can control where the fight goes. And Melendez is controlling the fight and dishing out a lot of punishment. I definitely give that round to Melendez. And Melendez looks fresh as well. So, you know, this is, this is going to be a bomb burner to the finish. That's how we saw it, too. Ringside. Momentary flash. Guida got involved in the sport, courtesy of his older brother Jason, who's fighting this weekend in Las Vegas. Takes down Melendez. Nice sprawl by Melendez. Back up and quickly driven into the cage. Oh, he's got the back there. Guida's got his back. Wow. Locked in. Didn't see that coming. He's got his neck. Can he finish it off? Cecil Peoples takes a long he's look. He's got the body control. He's just got to grab his own bicep. Gilbert's chin is still down. He is still defending it. Melendez is up. Look at that move to hike him over. That's the there he goes. Right on his head. He slams Guida right to the ring. And a big right hand follows up. Wow. And Guida was wide-eyed after that one. That one hurt. What a reversal. I like the way he shook him around the side of him and it dropped him right on his head. Definitely pushing the rules there because head spiking is somewhat illegal. Well, you got to push the envelope if you want to be a champion in this sport. Series of left hands connects for Clay Guida, but he has to be a touch spent as Melendez replies with the rights. More right hands by Gilbert Melendez. Well, Gilbert's definitely getting the better of the situation. Guida's punching from the bottom, but it's not effective. He's got to change this position. 325 to go. Round two, five-minute rounds. Here he goes. He's trying to run around. Gives Guida face down. Melendez defending that single leg, driving the hips down, driving Guida's head down. What's Guida's best hope from this position? He's got to pop up to all fours. He's got to pop up to all fours, get back into his wrestling position and start wrestling again. There he goes. Nicely done. Back on his feet. Oh, he took one there. As he delivered the knee, Melendez came oh, in with a series of rights and lefts. The action's been frenetic in this second round. Well, Clay took a good shot, came right back, gave it back, and then ate a knee for his efforts. Good defense. Melendez, great defense on the singles. He's pushing the head of the mat and sitting on his body. Totally stops his forward motion. And there's so many different moves he can pull off from that position. 
Queen of oh. right hand. Melendez oh. counters. Oh, he's got to get those hands Big up. Big combination. You're right, though. He needs lot, better defensive he's skills. He's got to get those hands up. He took, he took one there that he shouldn't have took if he'd have had his hands up. This Two will, minutes to go in the round. This is where Gilbert is controlling the pace. He's controlling the distance. He's controlling the pace. He's the first guy punching. Now he's driving him into the cage. Steps out go. of it. Yeah, he's got to punch first. He's got to punch first and kick and use that to get inside and, and, and do his wrestling. Guido looking a touch tentative at this stage of the fight. Could have been the head drop. <laughs> that might stun you a bit. 135 to go in the round. Through a leg kick earlier. Let's see if he goes back to it. There's some punches. Oh, he oh, he took shot. one. A left hand from Melendez. Good left hook. Right flush on the chin. Oh, Another left hand. Oh, he took a big one there. Through that spinning heel kick. Tries to shake it off, but that had to hurt. That hurt big time. Anytime they shake their head and pretend like it doesn't hurt, that's how you know it hurts. Yeah, he took one there. He's going to be shooting now. 55 seconds left in round number two. Melendez trying to time him with them punches. He's trying to get him extended. He's going to try to counter punch him over the top. Melendez got a good clean jab. See how he jabs and moves his head out of the way? Big oh. combination once more from Melendez. There's a cut on the left uh -oh. elbow of Guida. Melendez is timing him. But Guida is more get his concerned hands up. about what's going on with his grill because he's taking way too many shots he's to the head. He's taking big shots, and those are power shots. Plus, he's backing up, so he's got no retaliation. Moving in the wrong direction. The champ going to have to show his tenacity as Melendez is dictating terms. Final 10 seconds of the round. Linda's backing up, trying to steal the round. And that's it for round two. Another dynamic flash by the Phenom. Gilbert Melendez and the crowd is on its feet. Wow. What a round. Melendez dominating with the control and presence. Here we go, Guido with the big single leg. Gilbert with a fantastic single leg sprawl. He keeps dropping that hip and working out. Gilbert stays on it the whole time, ends up with the back. But he paid for it, paid for it right here. Gilbert turns him around, turns him around, drops him right on his head. Wow. Here they go, here they go popping up, letting those punches fly. Big uppercut by Melendez. It's working for him, and Clay got hurt here. You see his hands down, he's diving for that takedown. Melinda is controlling the pace, controlling the match, and forcing him to shoot. That spinning heel kick almost got him in a, a tremendous trouble because he took a big left hook right to the chin. Let's check in with Phil. Oh, I got to give that round to Melendez. It was all Melendez. One thing about Guida you guys haven't mentioned is he has the chin. The guy has some whiskers. He has a beard. Put it that way. He takes some big shots, but, but this is all Melendez. He's out wrestling him. He's uh, out wrestling with it, and that's what's keeping him, uh, giving him the, average, the edge in this fight. That chin, though, has been tested severely. Third of five rounds scheduled. Oh, took, another good. effective combination. Melendez, good jab, right hand. Uh, we're seeing all that Melendez has to offer in the cage. Guida has not figured out how to move these punches and close the distance to get himself inside. Well, let's not forget when he beat the Punk Thompson, he was able to escape those early guillotine chokes and was tenacious as the fight moved along. He's going to have to be equally resilient as he is fighting a very skilled fighter. He is, and he's fighting a power puncher, and this is what is a weakness for him. He doesn't have power punches, so he can't retaliate with the same strength. Oh! Looked into that left hand! He paid for it again, spinning back fist. Comes up short. He's got to punch and wrestle. He's got to punch and wrestle. He's got to punch first and wrestle second. Well, Melendez went for it. it. Was momentarily on the ground. They're back on their feet. Knee snuck in by Guida, but Melendez has a response with a series of rights and lefts. Great control. 
two big left hands delivered by Gilbert Melendez. You see the time remaining, round three. He's looking or talking to somebody. I'm not sure what he's doing. He was making eye contact with you, I thought, looking for some support. I don't know if he wanted help or advice. I mean, I wrestled with the guy yesterday. He's in great shape. He's ready to roll. He's just being out wrestled here. Had him up, brought him down pretty quickly. And we sort of faked an armbar attempt. It wasn't really that serious, and, and Gilbert didn't even take it seriously. I think that this is Gilbert's game. Balance, control, beat down. Try to soften him up, tire him up. Cecil Peoples gets Melendez and Guida back on their feet. Guida taking an extra moment. Oh, that hook. Gilbert should double up on that jab, follow up with the left hook. And he would just... Ooh. Oh, Guida landing a hook of his own there. Backed him up a little bit. Digging into his reserve, trying yeah. to pick up his intensity. Well, Guida's losing the striking game, but if he doesn't strike, oh, that was a flush shot to the chin, but no, no blocking or anything. He's taking a lot of punishment, another nifty combination. Now, Melendez pounds away with that right hand. Less than two minutes remaining in the third round. Well, Melendez is getting his number with those shots, too. He's got him perfectly timed, especially on the single. Now you've got Guida putting out all that strength but not getting anything back. Uh, Tiesel Peoples lets them wrestle through. I thought he was going to get in there for a second. He was very close. <laughs> well, he's the third man in the cage. Gilbert giving up his back here. Gutsy uh, moves. Guida using those knees to deliver jarring blows. There's a knee. Knee to the head. It looks like he's tired a little bit. Oh, but he's still stepping in with that jab and moving his head out of the way, and he's catching Guida every time. You can tell Guida just doesn't have the stand-up experience, doesn't have the composure or the balance or the comfort level to really let him go. Guida, the former wrestler, won a national championship on the JC level. His team, victorious. Less than a minute remaining in round three of this five-round championship bout. There he goes. Guida sucking it up. Sucking it up, driving through. Can't completely finalize the move. I think Gilbert realized that he can't choke him. I think he's not that worried about it, so he's just going to be, uh, you know, kind of half giving, half chilling. Last time he dropped him on his head while doing it. Uh oh. He's got range. 25 seconds left in round three. Way to stop moving, no head movement. Sign of fatigue. And Melinda's charging up a little bit. Oh, wow. Went for the big uppercut. Final seconds, third round. Guida wants it, he's got to throw. There it is. Guida goes down. Melendez attacks. And that's it for the third. Wow. Great way to finish. Looked like a knockdown, but I think it more of just slipped. I agree with you. It looked like Guida lost his footing. Yep. Great way to finish, though. Here's Melendez with nice, clean hands. Fake jab. Oh, one, two. Guida's still in it, though. He's got his hands down. That's what's getting him in a little bit of trouble, but he is using it to shoot. The only problem is he's in a hole when he's doing it. There's those knees. Yeah, Guido was getting good position on this. Good damage to the lower body. Trying to wrestle that head control. Finish with a head knee. Here's our end of the round. Good combinations. Yeah, total slip there. He was throwing a left hook. Kind of pushed his head, pushed him down. And driving through with that takedown. Didn't mean anything at the end of the round. Let's check in with Phil. He's a little more tired than he thinks it's Josh because he's taking more punishment in this fight, but, he's, but he looks good and, and he's starting to come on. Well, it's certainly positive that Guido's oh, wow. still on his feet, but he continues. He took a big to right hand the there by Melendez, and Melendez shooting. Well, we know that Guido is a tenacious customer. He's going to leave it all inside this cage. Go, 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 go. 
And perhaps he's just waiting for his opening as we move to round four of this five round bite. Big punches exchanged here, a little tired. It's big danger to start swinging like that. Oh, he went for it again. Spinning back fist attempt. Big risk reward ratio on that kind of move. Oh, he's got to put that chin down. Great composure by Guida. That's why he's the champ. That stuff didn't even phase him. I mean, Gilbert is literally swinging for the fences right on his melon. He's just standing there looking at him. Guida still on his feet, trying to defend his lightweight title belt. Jumping knee there by Guida, not really that effective. He's looking for something to get inside, and he just doesn't have the confidence anymore in those hands. That's why. That right hand got through by Melendez. He needs a way in, though. He's got to get in there and wrestle that body. Oh, big Another shot big there. big shot delivered by Melendez. Oh, there's a leg kick. McQueen's got to open up that game. Mix it up, leg kick, high kick, knee. Back to the wrestling. Guida going for the takedown, not there. But Guida's just got to push it. I think he's behind on the cards. You know, he took some damage. He's been in the negative position. He's the champ, it's his house. He wants it. He's got to box his way in there and get busy. Moving towards the spicy moments of this championship fight. There's some kicks. Effective with the left foot. 220 remaining in round four. Oh, big right hand. He got the position. Great wrestling. Gilbert pops right up. And the crowd loving all the intense action they're seeing. Last time we saw Guida in here, nobody popped up on him. He, he held Josh down. He, you know, basically controlled the match and game. And I don't know what's going through his head here, but he's definitely on the losing end of this battle. Gilbert seems light on his feet. Pretty relaxed. It's late. Closing in on 90 seconds remaining in round four. Been the least active round so far. Well, there is a strike in the play into Guida's hand here, and that is to fake shot and then do a counter strike. Because Gilbert is really, really reacting to those takedowns, and rightfully so. But if he got him to duck or drop his hands and react to that takedown attempt, he could hook him with a right hand or an uppercut or something. Melendez controlling the distance, winning the striking game. Long shot. Melendez steps out. 40 seconds left in round four. Right hand connects from Melendez. Melendez's corner telling him to come alive. Fired up. He's got his hips. Look how Melendez reaches that hand inside, blocks that hip, sets up a switch. Very technically sound. He jumps on the back. Ten seconds left in the round. And this championship fight is going to the fifth and final round. We've seen 20 minutes of war so far. There's the great punch from oh, Gilbert when he steps all the way in with that right hand. Backing him up. And Guida spinning back for his dangerous move. Paid for it a couple times. Almost got away with it there. There's a nice right hand. Good clean uppercut by Melendez. He's been landing that all night.
Oh, there's Melendez with a clean left hook. Right hand follow up. Long jab. Long right hand. Guida with retaliation. Stepping in on that jab. Stepping in on that right hand. And coming right for the shot. And Melendez popped right up. Well, Phil, you've had a contrary view throughout. How did you see round four? Oh, uh, round four was all Melendez. He boxed the crap out of him. He really did. He kept him on every jab and, 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 and just had his way with him. And he, got, and, he, and he got the fight at his own pace. Guida did not pick up the pace in that round, and it was all Melendez. So if Guida's going to retain the title, he's got to end it here. Fifth and final round. Left hand by Melendez. Melendez has really got the timing of this one now. Take down by Guida. This is his game. He's got to keep it wrestling. Don't let him up. Ride that leg. Melendez gets out of it. Melendez is just vicious with that jab, scoring each time. Another strong combination by Melendez, followed by the left hand. Maguita is losing every one of these punch. Every one. There goes Melendez inside the hip again. And Melendez looks so calm, sensing he's potentially on the brink of a championship. 3.45 to go in the fight. Double underhooks. Aguida driving in the fence. Aguida's starting to circle now into Melendez's power. A little bit of a tactical error probably brought on by fatigue. But he's starting to walk the wrong way. And Guida has to pick it up if he has any chance at salvaging a win. Melendez just keeps on throwing those effective punches. Yeah, basic clean boxing. Straight jab, straight right, being in the pocket. Reflecting the evolution of his career from wrestler to versatile fighter. And he's found the weakness in Guida. Counter wrestling, counter boxing. Single leg defense. We is still all the way in. He got his back. We see a suplex. He needs something dramatic. Less than 2.30 to go in this championship fight. He's working the knees there a little bit. Problem is, he's using his arms to control the body. So we can't strike him with his hands. We've seen this position before, sort of. We just half got his back. He's got to be the first guy up if he wants it. Uh oh. Melendez! There he goes. He's got to pop up here. He gets time. He's an adversary as well. 140 to go in the fight. And he's up. Wow. Just slugging it. by Melendez. Wow. And then he turns Guida over wow. with 65 seconds left. Wow, 24 minutes in. They're and still they swinging. they continue to throw punches. What phenomenal stamina by both of these fighters. 50 seconds to go. He's looking for a hold. He's looking at that shoulder lock. 
Got a figure four, just has no body position to finish it. You gotta pull something out. He needs a submission, he needs a hold. Here we go. This is classic wrestling. Dave Schultz right here. 20 seconds left. Wayna needs a miraculous conclusion. I think Melinda is content just to try to eke it out. He's got this one, I think. And Gilbert tries to seal it the way he opened it with a flurry of rights and lefts. Guida has an answer, but it's probably not enough. Melendez, extraordinarily impressive, although credit Guida for having the resilience to take it the limit. What an amazing fight. 25 <laughs> grueling, grueling minutes by some of the greatest lightweights in the world. Oh, here's Melendez with that great takedown. Pick those hips all the way up, turn them all the way sideways. Guida trying to pay him back, driving all the way on the single. Oh, he lifted him, lifted him all the way around. Fantastic wrestling move. Here's the same thing with Guida trying to get off that, uh, off that drive, off that single leg. Got a little bit of damage in there, got some shots in. Well, Phil, what's your verdict? Ah, it's four rounds to one, Melendez. He just kept stuffing the takedown, stopping with that stand standing switch, crotch lift type variation of, uh, of a move that he was doing to stop Guida's takedowns. He just out wrestled Guida, and Guida had no answers for him on the feet. Easy fight for Melendez. Four rounds to one. Hands down, Melendez is night. We have a new champion, Strike Force, and seems like with a crowd's reaction, a new star is born here in Strike Force. Yeah, I agree, Phil. Melendez really does have a charismatic approach to back up all that he can do inside the cage. Initially hooked up with Caesar Gracie's camp, the Fairtax Gym, San Francisco, but he has moved on now and making a major name for himself in this sport. It'll go to the cards, the judges for this one, John Shirley, Steve Morrow, and Susan Thomas Gitlin. But it would be a major shock if that man, Gilbert Melendez, does not emerge victorious once more, though. Cards have been handed to Jimmy Lennon Jr. And we'll send it to the ring momentarily for the final details. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we have a split decision here. The score totals. Judge at ringside. John Shorley scores the bout 48 to 46 in favor of Clay Guida. Judge at ringside, Steve Morrow scores the bout 50 to 45 in favor of Gilbert Melendez. And Judge Susan Thomas Gitlin scores the bout 50 to 45 in favor of the winner and new champion Gilbert Melendez. Well, strange things can happen when you go to the cards and as Phil was alluding to there were flashes that were effective by Guida John Shirley saw it that way giving Guida the 48 to 46 edge but the two other judges 50 to 45 Melendez he's the new strike force champion Frank Shamrock has made his way inside the cage. And let's hear from our new champion. Gilbert, great job, brother. Excellent fight. You're undefeated. You're the new champion here in San Jose. You got a crowd support. You got all your people here. Who's next for Gilbert Melendez? Anyone, man. I just want to, my goal is to be the best, so I got to beat the best, whoever they are. Bring them. You heard it here, guys. Gilbert Melendez, your new champ, will fight only the best. Back to you, Brian. Thank you, Frank. Gracious words by the new champion. Candidly, from our vantage point, we saw it as a unanimous decision, but Guida did have moments in which he was able to connect. Let's hear from Clay. Um, I want to say thanks to my folks for coming out, my friends and relatives that came out. Gilbert Melendez is the new champ. Have fun. Thank you, Strike Force. A nice display of sportsmanship by Clay Guida.